Today on our hands, we have one of the best black comedies there is, Dead to Me. And ever since its release on Netflix with its first outing in 2019, it became a big breakout. And quickly, the second season of the series released the next year. We can also all agree that this series gives the uncut gems a run for its money in the stress department. And now, we have the third season of the series. So sit back and enjoy as we give it a first look and talk about everything we know so far. Season 1 and 2 Recap House is open. Be nice having you there. Boys, this is Judy. Hey. Dad's here! He thinks that's the bird. This Netflix comedy thriller, fueled with exciting drama and juicy twist, quickly became the favorite show for many. The series presented itself with the messed up pair of Laguna Beach BFFs who came close together through tragedy and their shared love for the facts of life and of course the many deaths and all the incriminating secrets which followed them wherever they go. The sense of humor and the way the savvy trauma is handled too are all elements of the show which made it what it is today. The awards were not out of the picture for this show. It amassed not one, not two, but four Emmy nominations for season two, including Outstanding Lead Actress for both Applegate and Cardellini and Outstanding Comedy Series. When the second season of the series dropped in May 2020, it ended with a wild cliffhanger, for which the show became known for, along with the plethora of open-ended questions that the series seems poised to answer in the third installment. And while all of us try to uncover what really is happening, Next, we have everything we know so far for the show's third installment. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Season 3 Renewal The FBI are good at connecting dots. I mean, we are the fucking dots. I'm warning you, watch yourself, because I... After two months of the release of the second season on the Netflix streaming platform, the third season was confirmed for the renewal and to be the series' last run too. Even though the creator of the series, Liz Feldman, signed a multi-year contract with the streamer, she appears to be happy with ending the show after the third season. She is very happy about the whole project, and according to her, the show turned out just the way she wanted to, and that it also stretched her as an artist and healed her as a human at that too. She says that she will always be indebted to Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini, her friends for life and also the talented writers working tirelessly behind the scenes, the whole cast and crew. Even from the beginning, Liz wanted to keep the series short and sweet. So that is the reason behind the fact that the series will have only three seasons. The perfect runtime for a show of this sort. When Liz was asked, why stop now? Why not continue with the story? Season 3 Release Date To have faith. As for the release date, the third series has been commissioned. However, it is still not known when it will drop on Netflix. When we take a look back, it has been a year between the first and second season of the show. So under normal circumstances, it can be safe to assume that this would have been the case for the time period between the arrival of the second season and the release of the third. However, these times are far from normal. Both of the seasons dropped in May but the ongoing pandemic might screw up the release of the show and break the cycle, everything taking a bit longer. So with this in mind, there is a high chance that we will have to wait more than a year this time. However, many resources predict that the show is likely to be released in the second half of the year. The only thing that is left for us is to hope for it is happening. Season 3 Trailer With the show in the early stages, there is still no trailer for the third season of the show. However, we can always make an educated guess, right? Seeing how the trailer for the first season of the show released only one month before it dropped on Netflix, and also, this being the case for the second season, a first look teaser around a month ahead of the show's release of the second season, the earliest we can expect any official trailer or teaser will have to be somewhere in early spring for the release of the end summer. So be on the lookout for any news regarding this topic. Season 3 Cast with the twisty crime series moving forward, we are going to take a look at the cast, who is returning, and who might join them in their new adventure in the third installment of the series. However, despite all the murder in the series, the leads are yet to be killed off, at least. The duo of Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini is back as Jen and Judy respectively. Now yes, they may have gotten into a brutal car crash, 
but it was clear that they have survived the crash at the end of the second season, so they are more than sure to return for the third season. James Marsden will also be back as Ben, and ever so wrapped in the drama that Jen and Judy is surrounding. And a little spoiler from Liz Feldman, Ben will be going on quite a journey in the future. As for the rest of the cast, Detectives Anna Perez will be back with Diana Maria Riva portraying the role, and Brandon Scott as Nick Prager. The same goes for Jen's kids. Luke Rosler will be back as Henry, and Sam McCarthy as Charlie. Now yes, there were a lot of exciting supporting cast additions in Season 2. In the likes of Judy's fling Michelle, portrayed by Natalie Morales, her mother Eleanor, played by Katie Sagal, and Ben's mother Eileen, with Frances Conroy, taking on the role. It is still hard to say that all of them will return for the third season of the show, but we will have to wait and see what happens in this crime, drama, thriller, dark comedy in the future. When the cast is concerned, Season 3 Plot Places. I love you. I love you too. You guys want to dance? Oh my god, do you see that we're in the middle of something here? As for the plot, if we take a look into the characters of the first two series, with each of the seasons focusing on one's character's secret, with the first season putting Judy in the spotlight and her involvement in the hit and run that killed Jen's husband, and the second season being focused on Jen's not so self defense murder on Steve, the third season, if it continues with the pattern, it should be about somebody else's secret. As Liz told, there is still a lot of ground to cover, more story to tell. She knows exactly what to do with the third installment. Strong words coming from the showrunner that point to a great adventure for the characters in the third season of the show. As for which character secret will come out, it is most likely that the character will be Ben, since he was the one that crashed into Jen and Judy, driving under the influence and fleeing the scene afterwards. Thus, Season 3 should surround Ben's reckoning about abandoning the scene, in which he potentially injures Jen, with whom he is romantically involved with. And of course, what would the legal case be as an aftermath of the event? Another subplot put in the third season might be that Ben will find out that Jen was the one responsible for his brother's death, his hit and run guilt, and that both of them are the victims of it. The road cams in Jen's neighborhood will likely play a big part for Ben's secret to be exposed and a leverage to be found from Jen and Judy if Ben ever becomes a threat. Another interesting event from the past might come back and bite everyone on the ass. That is Steve's money laundering scheme with the Greek Mafia. And with that, he might even meet some shady figures who worked with Steve. With all this in mind, the mob might be able to be forced to cover up the women's crimes or even a bigger illegal activity unfolding in their future. Whatever the case is, we can say with certainty that no secrets will stay hidden, no matter how hard they try. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below which of the characters do you think will play the big part in the third season of the show, and why? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.